optimizing surgical precision a procedural guide for robotic assisted rectal surgery for rectal cancer using indian ssi mantra robot minimal invasive surgery in rectal cancer has gained prominence owing to its various advantages in surgical outcomes due to rapid adoption of robotics in rectal surgery we intend to assess the feasibility of indian ssi mantra robotic platform for rectal cancer surgeries this marks the first a comprehensive guide tailored for multi cart open console indian robot representing a significant advancement in innovative technology this is an example of operative theater configuration a important point to note is we have given enough space for the robotic arms to maneuver this photo represents the port placement for both abdominal face as well as pelvic face in the retraction arm we use a bariatric port to avoid external clashing Patient is positioned in Lloyd Davis modified lithotomy position. Before talking, we place the patient in maximum Trendelenburg with 15 degrees lift up. For abdominal phase, we do a centro side docking in which the carts come from the left side of the patient. For pelvic phase, we do a central docking where the carts are from the front. We use monopolar curved scissor and fenestrated bipolar as our energy devices. These are the suggested low anterior resection step, which is initial metastatic survey, identification, ligation, and division of IMA, IMB, identification of ureter, gonadal vessels, and medial to lateral dissection, pelvic dissection, distal transaction, and coloanal anastomosis. This is a 54-year-old gentleman with carcinoma mid-rectum. After a total neoadjuvant therapy, we had planned the patient for robotic low anterior resection using SSI mantra. We start with the abdominal phase with port placement and cart position as shown. We lift the IMA pedicle at 45 degrees from mid-link. Sharp cut is made in the peritoneum. As the pneumoperitoneum enters the retroperitoneum, it allows us to easily identify the plane between the visceral layer and the parietal layer of pelvic fascia. We continue our dissection in the same plane We do the dissection proximally and identify the lower border of the duodenum. After identifying the lower border of the duodenum, we do the principal lymph node dissection. IMA can be ligated and divided uh, at the origin or after the left colic, but principal lymph node dissection is important. After division of the vessels, we continue to do medial to lateral dissection, finding the correct plane between the gerotas fat and the colonic fat. As we continue the medial to lateral dissection, we identify the three tubular structures, that is the left common iliac artery, ureter and the gonadal vessels. This marks the end of our medial to lateral dissection. After the completion of medial to lateral dissection, we start the lateral line of toll division for colonic mobilization. The port placement and cart position allows us to easily perform a multi quadrant surgery with appropriate exposure and arm movements without any internal or external clashing. Here we show how we easily achieve a complete colonic mobilization with sharp dissection using monopolar curved scissor. After completion of abdominal phase of the surgery, we start the pelvic phase. After hitching the bladder to the anterior abdominal wall, we pass an umbilical tape under the rectum, which is held by the assistant for retraction. After getting adequate retraction, we start the total mesorectal excision posteriorly first. 
proper identification and preservation of hypogastric nerve is done with a thin layer of presacral fascia over it. Here again, the robot allows us to perform the surgery deep in the pelvis with ease. Adequate traction and counter-traction helps us to dissect in the correct plane between the VLPF and the PLPF safeguarding the parasympathetic nerve erigatus nerve fibers. After doing the extensive posterior dissection, we start with the lateral dissection. Lateral dissection should always be done after extensive posterior dissection to avoid overdoing the lateral dissection and to avoid injury to the internal iliac vein and more importantly the inferior hypogastric plexus. Lastly, anterior dissection is done in between the two layers of Denon Villiers fascia. We continue our dissection beyond the TME to expose the bared rectal tube. Enlarged magnified vision and endorist of the robotic arms allows us to dissect up to the pelvic floor and expose the levator and eye muscle. We do the distal transaction using an endo GI stapler passed from the assistant port. We then perform a intracorporeal coloanal anastomosis using a circular stapler. A second layer of interrupted sutures can be easily taken over the anastomosis with the help of robot in a narrow deep pelvis. In our experience, we have successfully performed 57 rectal cancer surgery using Indian SSI Mantra robot with no conversion and comparable console and total operative time. This video provides a comprehensive procedural roadmap for performing robotic assisted low anterior resection utilizing the Mantra robot. The detailed description of the docking technique ensures smooth coordination between the surgical team and robotic system facilitating precise maneuverability during the procedure. Thank you for watching this video.